might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my horn strings are Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living And I'm Marie And everyone, we've had a very interesting week this last week mm -hmm. And so uh, we just got a few things we want to talk to you about and sort of let you know how things is going, especially with our health this week. Mm -hmm. uh, Marie, you're definitely feeling better today, aren't you? Yeah. And Marie's sitting a little low today, but she's sitting in her, uh, this is a different type of bar stool, and it's more comfortable for her to sit in, but it does make her sit a little lower than me. And this is just temporary until she gets to feeling better. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, I'll help Marie out a little bit and do most of the talking for her today, unless you feel like going for it. I'll, I'll talk some when I feel like it. I'll talk. Okay. Well, Marie, uh, last week, after we did our Sunday chat last week, uh, Kimberly and Addison did come by and visit with us, and we really enjoyed getting to see Addison for about two hours, I think, didn't we, Marie? Yeah. And that was a lot of fun, and that just makes makes our whole week to be able to see our great grandkids like that. Uh, so on Tuesday, Marie went to her chiropractic treatment, and everything went good. And we was both commenting about how good you felt after the treatment, Marie. Mm -hmm. And Marie is able to walk a whole lot better. Uh, she still can only walk around in the house if she walks long distance it gets to hurting her But just for you know moving around you've got a lot better movement, don't you? Yeah, and pain medicine she has I'm not gonna say completely cut it out, but she's cut it way down She's yeah. taking very small amounts of pain medicine right now, right Marie? My, my sciatic nerve has not bothered me as bad so that's a miracle <laughs> because if you've ever had sciatic nerve pain, you know that it's rough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. And so, uh, and so on that part, now, there's our phone. <laughs> we can't hardly do a chat without our phone going off. Mm -hmm. But on that part, uh, Monday morning, we will be getting up and going to uh, Marietta, Georgia, to the uh, pain center that's located there. Now, normally, uh, we, we would have liked to have went to the pain center here in Rome, but the one in Rome and Calhoun and Marietta are all connected together. And to go to the one in Rome, we was going to have to wait until December. But the office in Marietta said they could work us on in uh, for this Monday. So tomorrow, you'll be going down there, right, Marie? Yeah, I don't know if I'll actually get my shot tomorrow or not, or if it'll just be for a review, and I'll have to come back and get it. I don't know that yet, so I'll have to wait and see. Yeah, we're hoping. But I hope there's no more waiting. <laughs> Even though I am better, I'm, I'm still in pain, so I really hope that I do get it. <laughs> and if things work out good when we go to Marietta, on Monday, after we get finished, if we both feel good enough, while we're there in Marietta, we're going to go by the Crumble Cookie Store, mm -hmm. and we're going to get us a box of Crumble Cookies. And what we're excited about is they're supposed to be uh, building one here in Rome, and so mm -hmm. I hope that they do and don't anything get canceled. <laughs> Well, I seen on the news just a couple of days ago that they had paid for their building permit. And so it is going to be getting started. And I think it's going to be in that shopping center that's over where the public store is. Okay. So that's not very far away. We'll be able to go up there, you know, when we want to. Of 
of all the crumble cookies that I've ever ate, I still like the key lime pie the best. And I also made a video on the key lime uh, pie crumble cookies. And uh, I took them on to a, a shower and once, um, let's see, it's been several months ago, I think it was at Kim's shower. Yes, Kim's baby shower. Yeah, I, I took some down there and they just raved about how good they were. And so uh, I really, really hope that they hadn't discontinued the live ones because <laughs> yeah. I really like them. Well, and I, I like making them too because they're very good. Yeah. Well, they change their uh, menu every week. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we don't know what cookies they're going to have this week, but we're going to go down and get some regardless of which ones they have. And I hope that they have the key lime pie one because, like I said, that's my favorite one. And uh, if y'all have never made uh, a crumble cookie, I have a recipe and Kevin can put a link in the description below to my key lime pie. And if y'all make that, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they were delicious. And then uh, last week also, now it was on Tuesday that she went to the chiropractor treatment. But then on Tuesday night, very late into the night, Marie was having trouble. She couldn't sleep, very restless, uh, having all kinds of problems with nausea and mm -hmm. everything. And her blood pressure got real high. So I took her over to the emergency room. Uh, she asked me to take her to the emergency room. So you know Marie is pretty sick. And <laughs> she says, Calvin, will you take me to the emergency room? And uh, so I took her on over there. And we ended up staying all night long at the emergency room. We got we left around 8.30 the next morning. But they did give Marie IVs, and they gave her some uh, nausea medicine through the IV. They ran her blood work, and her blood work, the doctor said that everything looked good on her blood work, but that she was just very dehydrated. And so... And they asked me, how long have I been nausea? And I said, uh, a couple of days, and they said, well, you should have come over here sooner, but <laughs> I just, I don't like to go to doctors, and I don't like to go to the emergency room, so I, I, I was feeling pretty bad, or I wasn't a went. <laughs> yeah, and Marie does have a problem. She does get dehydrated very easily, yeah. and so um, we thought that that was something she could overcome, but... Uh, she wasn't able to overcome it, but yeah. after she got the IV, she has been much better on that front, and so it's just a matter of recovering from that. Yeah, but, I'm still having just a little bit of nausea, though, but that's because we are pretty sure that I caught that virus that's going around really everywhere right now. <laughs> now, and we're so, talking about the stomach virus, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully I don't catch the stomach virus. Uh, I have had a couple of days that I didn't feel that good, but I never did get real sick or anything like that. Yeah, so. Kevin usually has a, it seems like his immune system is always uh, a lot better than mine and he can fight off this these kinds of things. So I hope since you're having the troubles that you're having, I hope you don't get it. Yeah, me too. And uh, and then, so I, I mentioned that tomorrow, Monday morning, we'll be going to Marietta to get your, uh, to get checked at the pain center. Yeah. And hopefully after, you know, if you get the shot down there or whatever, they'll be able to make the next appointment for here in Rome. So we only have to make one trip down there for yeah. that. Back yeah. when I was having my cancer treatment and everything, I had to go to Marietta. Uh, was it Marietta or Cartersville? No, it was Atlanta. Atlanta. You started off going to Atlanta for, okay. for about a year. Yeah. And then the her doctor, the one that did the surgery, he had some medical conditions of his own and he had to retire. So he, when he retired, Marie had to start seeing his partner and his partner had an office in Marietta and Atlanta, yeah. so he was able just to go to the Marietta office. And that's why I get confused. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to get confused on all that. Especially because, when you're when you've been when you were ill like I was back then. And that was uh, eight years ago, so yeah. that's been a long time ago. Uh, okay, Marie. Uh, well, and I was talking about 
you know, you go in there Monday, and then on Friday of this coming week, I'll be going and having the endoscopy test done. And uh, Friday of this last week, I went and had the uh, CAT scan done. So all these tests I'm having done, in about two weeks, I'll be going back to my surgery doctor, and I'll get results on those tests. So y'all pray for me that I get good results on both of those tests. Okay, let's look at the uh, videos that we did last week, Marie. You also had to go and get uh, a place on your arm looked at. Yeah, yeah I had to go Thursday to yeah. the skin doctor, and, uh, and they checked me all over. But I have one spot here on my arm, and it's, it's not very noticeable. But when he looked at it, he said that he wanted to go ahead and try to get that off. So they froze it. And he said that it should fall off within a week or two and that if it don't fall off or if it comes back for me to contact him and come back that they would do a biopsy on it. But he felt pretty sure it would just fall off. Yeah. So that's what we're hoping for, right, Ray? Right. Okay. And also we want to let everyone know that we are still praying for y'all that have shots names in the prayer book. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, some of the YouTubers um, that have been sick, uh, we also, I added them to my prayer book. They don't know it, but they're, <laughs> they're on my prayer. They're in the prayer book, too. And um, so... Uh, well, one of them's our friend yeah. from down in South Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so last week on our videos, uh, on our Sunday chat, we... Um, talked about you know how our health was but also we showed some pictures at the very end with uh, Addison and I think I had about 10 minutes of uh, video at the very end with Addison. I so. love to see videos of children on uh, YouTube because you know when you're older and you're grandma and you don't always get to see your grandchildren as, and your great-grandchildren as much as you want to. Mm -hmm. When you see those little babies playing and uh, on YouTube and uh, uh, smiling and everything, <laughs> it just warms your heart up. I just love yeah. to see them. And you can go back and watch them and see them developing their personality. Uh -huh. And they get sort of set in their ways. They got certain things they want to do and they want to do it at their yeah. the way they want to. <laughs> but they're just so precious. I just think little children are just special. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then the uh, next video that we did was a video where we had made the visit to a chiropractor uh, treatment. We also went to Walmart, Dollar Tree, and Piggly Wiggly. And I was so, I was so happy to be able to go into <laughs> to uh, the Dollar Tree. It was just such a uh, small achievement, but I, I was able to walk around in there for about 10 minutes. I was tired when I got through, but I don't know. It just perked me up a little bit. I've been trying to talk Kevin into letting me go back again, but <laughs> since I had this virus, he hadn't wanted me to right <laughs> yet. <laughs> but I'm going to get to the Dollar Tree soon and do a video, y'all. Okay, now that Dollar Tree video was from the week before. Yeah. But this Dollar Tree video, I just went in and picked up a couple of things yeah. that we needed. Yeah, I was you talking remember, about You the, remember those plates that we said we wished we had a guy? Yeah, I was talking about the last time I went to the Dollar right. Tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then the next video we did was one of our throwback videos. And that was where Marie had made the chicken and gravy. I believe that was two years ago that she made that recipe. Yeah. She made it in a crock pot because we were going off that day. And that's one of our favorite things to do is put a crock pot on early in the morning. We go off and do all of our errands. And when we come home in the evening, it's real quick and easy just to enjoy a good meal. Yeah, when we and go off Monday, we should do one. <laughs> we might do that. I uh, might put some good vegetable beef soup in the crock pot. Okay. Uh, so when I was watching that video and getting it set up to put on for a throwback video, I kept looking at it thinking, oh my goodness, that looks so good. Because one of my favorite meals is a chicken and dressing. And this was chicken and gravy served on potatoes. And I'm thinking, oh man, I could just, I could eat some of that right now. So, 
I come in here to the kitchen and I checked and so uh, I had everything I needed to do it. So I made that recipe for that same night. But I made it a little different way than what Marie did. I used canned chicken and I just cooked it in a, a skillet instead of putting it into the crock pot. So it didn't take me just a few minutes. Uh, I put the uh, chicken in, I put the uh, cream of uh, chicken soup in it, and I put some ranch dressing on it and cooked that up, made some potatoes, made some green beans. I made them the way Marie likes to make them that taste so good. And uh, we really enjoyed that meal that night. And that was one of the first nights that Marie was able to eat after being so nauseated because she went for two days and wouldn't hardly eat anything, would you? No, but I am still struggling a little bit with the nausea <laughs> because I hadn't got completely over it yet. But uh, this that was a really rough virus, y'all. I hope y'all don't get it because it's, it's been going on for a while. <laughs> I hope I don't get it. <laughs> And the ones that I have talked to that has had it has said it was really rough. Yeah, we've had quite a few of our viewers that commented that, you know, they've had it. They know mm -hmm. how bad it was. <laughs> and, and I did post two community posts. The first one, I let everyone know that Marie had been sick and had to go to the emergency room. And then the very next day, I posted one that she was feeling much better because so many people uh, comment on that first one and everybody was concerned about Marie and wanting to know how she's doing. And oh, I'm everything. much better so y'all don't have to worry. <laughs> I think I'm on the way up now and I, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, and everybody was saying they was praying for her and yeah. hoping she was better. And so even that second day, everybody saying she that's hoping that Marie was better. So I said, I got to put another post on let everybody know Marie is better. So you didn't have to wait all the way to Sunday to find out. Yeah. And even though she is better, this particular morning, uh, this is Saturday morning, and she's just, her blood pressure's up a little bit, so she's not quite feeling as good as she was last night before we went to bed, but, but she is definitely better. Yeah. Okay. So the next video we did was another throwback video, and that was, uh, it was also from two years ago, and it's where Marie did the no-bake mm -hmm. cherry lush dessert. And I'm telling you, that is so wonderful. I can just, when I look at the pictures, I just wish I had one right now to eat. Huh. I got heat cups, y'all. Let me get a drink of water. Okay. So that's all the videos we did last week. Now this coming week, we're going to be sort of busy, so we don't know what our plans are for yet. But if Marie continues to feel better, we're going to try our best to do some cooking videos this week. And uh, I won't promise, but we will try our best. Right, Marie? Right. <laughs> and maybe while we're driving down to Marietta, uh, we don't have to make a long video, but maybe we can do a little video with the GoPro. Because you seem to enjoy using the GoPro, Marie. Oh, yeah, I really enjoy that gro GoPro, don't I? <laughs> well, you did good with it, though. I was proud of you. I like it as long as I hold it out way out here. <laughs> well, it does have a little extension handle. Yeah. You can hold it a little bit further away if you want to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, y'all, that's about all that I've got to talk about this week. Uh, like Marie said, we are praying for everyone on the prayer list. And we, we are still continuing to add people to the prayer list. I had yes. a couple of people late last night that put in requests to be added to the prayer list. Mm -hmm. And so anytime you know you need prayers, uh, put it on a comment. Let us know. We'll add you to the prayer list. And what we normally do is immediately as soon as we read the uh, comment, we pray for you right that minute, okay? Mm -hmm. Then I'll reply to your comment, let you know that we've added you to the prayer list. And then each and every day as we go through the names and the prayer requests, yeah. we will, you know, pray for you again at that point. Yeah, it's getting quite a um, few people it's in a, there. It's a big prayer list. Yeah. And sometimes, uh, you know, if memory both are having a bad day or something, 
sometimes we just have to take that book, hold it between our hands and say, Lord Jesus, we just pray for everyone in this prayer list and yeah. you know what their needs are, you know, and pray for them like that because uh, it can take over an hour to call everybody's name, can't it, Marie? Yeah, but we do it a lot of times, but it's mm -hmm. just not, we can't do it every time. This, right. Like you said, we pray for it like that. Yes, we sure do. Okay, uh, I think that that's about all I've got for right now. Uh, there is a couple of things that I'm working on. And I'm the type of person when I got something on my mind that I want to do, I won't talk about it. But I've learned to not talk about it on video because when I do, then I commit myself to it even more so. Yeah. But Marie and I have talked about a couple of things I've got in the plans for, you know, some upcoming things. And so when they happen, I'll let you know. But I'm really excited about them. I can't wait to talk about them. But no promises yet <laughs> and also um on a positive note we woke up this morning it was nice and cool and it was like <laughs> fall was in the air and so me and kevin um we drove up to mcdonald's and we got a biscuit and um we sit up there and we was going to sit up there but mm -hmm. we decided go to go to the park we went down to the park and sat there and ate it and mm -hmm. Then we came home, but I was just so glad just to get out and just be at the park, even though I usually like to walk around the track. Couldn't do that, though, but just sitting there and seeing everybody walk their dogs and everything. <laughs> that was, that was and, fun. I mean, this is old people's fun. <laughs> but no, I'm not really old, y'all. I'm, I'm uh, 70, but that's not really old. <laughs> no, it's not. We're just getting started good. Yeah. Uh, it was 62 degrees this morning when we were over at the park, mm -hmm. and so that was very pleasant. Right, and... Uh, and there was uh, at least three or four people out there walking their dogs yeah. uh, this morning. Sometimes we like to go over there and see the kids playing in the park and all, mm -hmm. but there weren't no kids up that early. early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we but we, we got to see the dogs. <laughs> we got a good early start. Right. Okay, Marie, well, uh, I'm not sure how long this has went on, but we'll go ahead and end it here. But we want to thank everybody for watching our videos. Yeah. We want to thank you very much for your prayers. And like I said, we'll continue to pray for you. And we just yeah. love each and every one of you. And we can't, make, okay, make, we can't wait to make our next video so that we can share it with you. It's like we've got a big community of people that come together mm -hmm. uh, for one common cause. And so uh, yeah. we just appreciate each and every one of you. We love each and every one of you. And we hope y'all have a great week this coming week. Yeah, and y'all remember me Monday uh, when I get my shot. And I hope it's successful. And I hope it's as good as everybody says it is when they get it. And I hope it doesn't hurt because most people says it doesn't. But mm -hmm. I've had things that hurt before <laughs> <laughs> when I've been to the doctor. So I'll get through it. <laughs> so... Um, Y'all do what you love and love what you do, and uh, we'll see you on the next video, and y'all have a great Sunday, and uh, bye. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here